Hi everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to discuss the approach shot. We're going to discuss how to capitalize on that short ball that comes from your opponent and a little bit about the technique. But before we do that I want to please encourage you all to please subscribe to my channel on YouTube. It doesn't cost you anything. The tips are free. Please sign in. Leave some comments below and if you have any questions about any of the things that I discuss or if you'd like some topics covered please also let me know. Look forward to seeing you on the court. Let's get to the approach shot. Okay, so when that approach shot arrives, it's very important to make sure that we capitalize on it and first of all that we don't let the ball drop too low. Assuming our strike zone is generally from mid-chest level to mid-thigh level, it's very important to try to catch that approach shot if possible in the upper end of that strike zone. If the ball drops too low, we're going to have to then hit up a little bit and it becomes much tougher to hit that penetrating aggressive approach shot. So number one, as we come up to that approach shot, we want to try to strike that ball in the upper end of the register in the strike zone. It also takes the net out of the equation to a certain extent the higher we strike the ball. Next, very important with your hips and shoulders. As you come to that ball, I see a lot of players come up to that shot with the hips and shoulders straight on, and we usually pull that shot cross court or possibly hit it into the net. So it's important as you come up to that ball, make sure you get yourself sideways, load it up this way, and there are a few different techniques you can use as far as footwork is concerned. We'll talk about those on another day, but again, important to make sure we come up to that ball sideways. Last but not least, after you hit that good penetrating approach shot, very important to keep moving forward. The intention should be that after you hit the approach shot, we're moving forward trying to strike the next volley if we can above the net so that we can hit the ball either off the court or hitting attacking volley to an area where the opponent's not standing or if we're playing doubles, we might even hit that attacking volley to the net player. So let's recap real quickly. As we're coming up to that approach shot, the intention should be to catch the ball in the upper end of the strike zone, number one. Number two, as you get there, make sure your hips and shoulders are sideways once you arrive in position to hit that approach shot. And last but not least, make sure you continue to move forward so that the next volley you're going to hit from a more positive position in the court. I hope this tip helps you, and if you have any comments or suggestions or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Have a great day.